Hey everybody, it's Derek with The Ultimate Hang. And I've, I'm back in my new hammock lab. We, we moved, our family moved to a new house, and so it's been a little while. I'm still trying to get things set up, but I thought I'd start off with a new video. I've got um, a whole bunch of gear that's kind of been on pause while I've been moving. So I'm gonna try to get a whole bunch of videos out in the next couple of weeks so you can see what I've been up to here in the hammock lab. But for right now, we're gonna look at uh, a little bit closer at some gear that I've had for a while now. Uh, a lot of you might be familiar with it, these Nama Claws. Um, we'll get a closer look at these in just a second. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and use them. They're a very small hardware device, stainless steel, that are used for tarp connections. So, let's take a closer look. All right, I decided on this project, I'm gonna take an old um, continuous ridge line and retrofit it with the Nama Claws. And where they really fit in is to replace these continuous loops. So very common technique for continuous ridge lines is to take a continuous loop like this and tie a Prusik or a Klemheist knot onto uh, the continuous ridge line like this. And it's, it's pretty handy, right? And it's pretty lightweight. It slides back and forth. And then you attach the tarp to, to uh, two of these different points and it will kind of lock in place once tension is applied. So very similar in uh, in technique on how the Nama Claws work. They slide along freely on the on the line and then pulled, they pinch the line and, and create that tension. Now the Nama Claws have a few advantages to the Prusik lines. One is that Prusik lines, they depending on the line that you're using, sometimes they can jam, be difficult to slide, or in cases where you have really slippery line, sometimes they, they actually will not lock very well. So depending on how tight you have them. So the Nama Claws resolve that concern by actually the more, <laughs> the more that they're tensioned, the tighter they pinch and so they actually lock better in place. The other thing I really like about them is that they, they provide a connection point as almost as close as you can get to the line itself while still being accessible. And where that really comes into play is when you have a continuous ridge line and your tarp is, is hanging there, the longer lead that you have from your connection point on the continuous ridge line to the tarp, it also determines uh, at some degree the, the shortest hang point that you can have. So in places where I may have um, a 12 or 13 foot or maybe even an 11 foot, right? But hopefully not that close. But if you have a really close uh, hang point, the closer you can get your tarp to those, the hang point, um, then you don't have to like wrap your tarp around a tree. So, and I'll demonstrate that outside. The one thing I, <coughs> that I'll show, you'll notice the way that these are designed, they actually, they need to hang a certain way so that they will lock correctly. So they point away from the tarp, if you notice how that works. And so that way that when they're pulled backwards, they lock in place. So just make sure when you install them, you install them so that they're pointing um, away from the tarp. So in this case, on one end, I've got a knot bone and on the other end, I'm using a loop alien. This is another uh, technique when you use the Nama Claws because they can slide, um, they could slide all the way off your line. You wanna have some kind of a stopper that prevents that either a big knot or in this case, I've got some hardware devices. So let's take this out in the field and I'm gonna show you how the Nama Claws perform. All right, we got the tarp set up, continuous ridge line all the way across and Nama Claws to connect. Um, let's get in a little bit closer so you guys can see how these Nama Claws work and, wh and what advantage they have over regular Prusik knots. All right, so you can see we got the Nama Claw right here and it's pulled back, full tension. Now this is where really wanna, I wanna focus on. When I showed you the wide angle, we've got our hammock set up on a pretty long hang, but a lot of hangs, you know, you're gonna have, this tarp itself is about a 13 foot ridge line. And you can see if I have a long lead to my connection point, it limits how far apart those anchor points need to be. So if I've got a close hang, the Nama Claws are great for a close hang. This is really where they're, they're um, advantage shines. You can see if I have a Prusik knot, that Prusik knot, depending on how long it is, and this is about as short as I can handle, right? Just this tiny little loop. Um, 
but that Nama claw, I can get that tarp even closer. Now this line, you can also see this is another way to do it where I've got a really long lead here. You can see again, this is a disadvantage. So even though the Nama claw has a connection point really close to the tarp, if you've got a really long lead here, that, that definitely takes away the advantage. So you wanna be able to have a, a connection point. Some tarps like the War Bonnet tarps or um, the OES tarps. And what else, Another there's another tarp that has a really, like they basically have little rings right here at the end of the tarp. And that works really well. But I'm gonna show you, you can do that yourself. Let's come on to the other side of the tarp. So this is what's called a split key ring. And this split key ring, I've connected to the end of the tarp. And then you can see the connection point now is right there where the, where the Nama claw is. And some tarps, um, outdoor gear has some that are even smaller than this, makes that connection point right to the edge of the tarp. This is ideal. This is really where the Nama claws work really well as a connection point really close to the tarp. Now, in terms of tightening and loosening, Again, they, since they fold backwards, they, they slide really easy, but as soon as you pull backward tension, that's where they lock in place. So it slides pretty easy one way. I just push that tarp forward a little bit, and then I've, got, I've loosened that tension. Now I can tighten and loosen really quick. You can imagine even with gloved hands, this is a really easy way. So even in the winter time, the Nama claws shine really well. No more fighting a Prusik knot. So while there is a little bit of a, a weight penalty on this hardware device, you're gonna get the advantage of easy connection point, close to the tarp, no fiddling with the knots, and it's gonna, especially when it's cold or wet, where sometimes the, the Prusik knots don't work well, the Nama Claw really shines. So there it is, Nama Claws. Check them out at namagear.com. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next Ultimate Hang.